All right, this is page two. Number three, on January 1st of 2017, Altuve Sailing Charters purchased a sailboat for $400,000. Altuve expects the boat to remain useful for four years and have a residual value of $50,000. Using a straight line method, calculate the depreciation expense for the year and the book value at the end of the year. And this should be of the sailboat. All right, so straight line depreciation is cost minus residual divided by life. So it cost us 400,000. It has a salvage of 50. And I think it's gonna last me for four years. So my depreciation is gonna be Seven thousand five hundred per year. All right, and they want. They just want us to calculate depreciation expense. All right, and then the book value is cost minus accumulated. Well, at the end of the first year. It's going to be the cost of 400 minus one year's worth of accumulated depreciation. So 312,500. All right, and that's the question. Now, if you had to do the journal entry, the journal entry for depreciation, you should probably already know or, and should know for this test, but it's depreciation expense and accumulated depreciation for the 87,500. All right, problem number four. I'm probably gonna have to move the paper back and forth because it doesn't all quite fit. All right, on January 1st, 2017, the world champion Astros purchased a batting cage for a million dollars. The Astros expect to use the machine over the next four years. The estimated residual value of the machine is $200,000. Complete the following schedule using the double declining balance method. All right, and it's already filled up up here at the top where they purchased it. All right, make sure you don't write anything else up here in this top line because it will mess you up. All right, so then this book value comes down over here to book value. So my book value at the big for the 2017 is a million dollars. All right, the straight the let the rate for double declining is two times one over the life. All right, then first year you just carry this number on across. And then you subtract to get book value. All right, and then book value comes on down. The rate stays the same. All right, then you add to get the accumulated. And then you subtract to get book value. All right, now, in this case, I know that we're supposed to do it for four years, but my estimated residual is $200,000. My book value has to stop when I hit the $200,000. Well, I'm only $50,000 away from it, okay? And if I come over here and I do the two fifty, dollars and I actually do it times the two divided by four, that's $125,000. Well, if I subtract $125,000 out, that's gonna take me well below the $200,000. All right, so this time I'm gonna plug it, and I only need, um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna plug this. I need $50,000 more in depreciation. Okay, that brings this up to eight hundred. dollars my accumulated up to eight hundred. dollars And then when I subtract, sorry, when I subtract, I have my my book value of 200 which equals 
the residual. And then that's just gonna carry on down next year. And I'm not gonna actually have any depreciation expense in year four. Now remember, this one ended up being half. If you notice, these are all halves. It ended up being half because it was a four-year life. If it's any other life, you're not gonna have that half type situation.